What's going down, YouTube? It's your boy, Adewale. I'm back at y'all with another boxing talk. You know, <clears throat> it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful way to start the day. Um, I was just going through my guy's profile, Femi Oyelege, the ego boxing. He's having a fight coming up May 11th against um, a Mexican opponent named Mena. Um, um, it's actually a title fight for the uh, WBC Intercontinental title. All right. Um, I I understand that those types of titles, second tier, third tier titles, don't hold too much weight. But I mean, it's a motivation for a fighter at that stage in um, Femi's career. At the beginning of your career, if you're um, if you're fighting for a vacant title, no matter how small it is, it's it's a motivation. You know, it's one of those things that fighters look up to, especially if you've not attained that level that you aim for. But one thing I can tell you guys for sure is Femi is a very very disciplined fighter in terms of his work ethics um, he's from Nigeria he moved out of, out of the country to United States of America that's where he had his, his pro debut after that he's had 10 fights 10 wins 4 knockouts he's a southpaw super welterweight fighter fighting out of San Diego, San Diego California He's trained by um, Jesse Tana, who is a very good trainer. Um, Femi's skills and technique have been improving right from the first fight, first professional fight he had. And at this point in his career, it's it's a little bit of a step up in competition. You know, facing someone with a 7-4 and 1 record. I mean, um, compared to his last opponent, Juan Guzman, another Mexican opponent, um, on paper, you can say Guzman had a better um, resume before facing Femi. Yeah, but at the end of the day, Femi is facing yet another Mexican opponent. And this guy around, um, you know, he has a couple of losses. He has a draw. He has seven wins on his record. But it's still a step up in competition. Because whatever reason the WBC decided to put the Intercontinental title on the line, for both guys that to me tells something about both guys but the truth is um femi is the truth i have to tell you guys this man you don't want to miss out on the early stages of a fighter of this caliber femi Oyelaya. because um a lot of times we we boxing fans we find ourselves jumping on the hype train on the bandwagon of so many already made fighters but sometimes if you do some research um due to whatever reason that attracts you to the sport it might be a tribalistic thing maybe you like the guy that comes from your tribe from your country from your ethnic group whatever it is if you do some research and you find a guy that meets all that criteria if that's your reason why you like those those types of fighters you would discover a few fighters that are top-notch all right that they haven't been built yet but you can tell already from the beginning of their careers that these guys have the potential to become um, world titleists in the future all right sometimes a lot of these guys what kills them i wouldn't say kill but one hindrance that they have is they don't have that charisma you know they don't have that personality that pushes them far off um at the upper echelon in the sport of boxing but they have the skill set you know what i mean they have the skill set to push them to the top to become world titleists i mean right now we have quite a few world titleists that are unknown because they don't have the personality they don't talk out loud when they're doing the media interviews some don't even speak English the the commercial language of the world you know so that some have interests definitely that prevents them from gaining the worldwide notoriety that they want by the end of the day a guy like family layer he's somewhere in between and I can't really judge too much about the guy right now but um as time goes on yeah we'll see how he does i've seen a couple of his interviews and i think he did well right he did quite well when speaking to the media when addressing questions that were asked about him 
but the thing about Femi is because he's promoted by Jab Promotional um, Management, Jab Promotions Management, Frank and Christina Carrillo, those guys are, um, they cater a lot to Mexican fighters, all right? They are based out of San Diego, California, which is close to Tijuana, Mexico, right? And they cater a lot to, to Mexican fighters. And now they have an African fighter in their stable, Femi. And Femi is a group, is a very good fighter, very, very good. That can be tell already from the beginning of his career. So these guys, they are slowly progressing him in terms of his matchmaking. I mean, looking at all, all the opponents he's faced in the past, none of those guys has been a real threat. So at some point, he's gonna need to step up competition and face a real fighter. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm happy for the for the trajectory that his career is um, taking. He's not doing the wrong thing. He's currently being managed by a decent um, promotional team. Um, he's not getting a lot of um, TV um, airplay, TV time, because he's managed by a small promotional company. But I believe as time goes on and as he progresses and advances in his career, He's going to be able to sign better deals and you know get better promotional outfits that will push him to the public and get him more popular right i just hope that doesn't take too much time because sometimes these promotional companies they take advantage of your um, naivety if you're a naive person if you're from a country where you don't get a lot of push a lot of support then these promotional companies that you find yourself tied into they might take advantage of that right and then you don't get the publicity that you deserve right but one thing I need you guys to know for sure is Febi Ogileye is a talented boxer. Southpaw, super welterweight, six foot tall, very, very fast hands. He doesn't have a high knockout percentage yet. And that's mainly because he's only fought, um, he's mainly fought on four round fights, six round fights and that type of stuff. But trust me, once this guy steps up in competition, once he gets everything going at the right um, pace, then we're gonna see a better Femi guaranteed but just watch out for him he has the fight coming up may 11th against the mexican dude and um, if we're able to find that fight on the internet on youtube whatever that's fine if that's not possible still watch out for this guy you can follow him on on at eagle boxing one on instagram right thank you all for watching peace